Hi guys and welcome back to my channel once again. I'm so excited to have you guys back on here. Thank you so much for supporting and liking my videos. I hope you guys have been doing well. If you're new here, my name is Vivian and I make faith-based related videos. And if you're not new, welcome back again to the family. So today's video is going to be slightly different. So as you can see from the title, I'm going to be talking about Netflix shows that I don't recommend watching. And this is directed towards Christians. Um, this isn't to say that if you're a Christian and you're watching these shows that you're not really a Christian or I'm judging you. This video isn't like that at all. I say all this in love and these are shows that I used to watch when I was in the world before God saved me. And this is just my, my personal things that I watched that I would not recommend anyone watching. And if you are currently now, then I just pray that the Holy Spirit convicts you because I'm not here to say don't do this, don't do this, don't do that. I'm so glad that I stopped watching these shows because some of them are so dark and some of them are so disgusting and I would not recommend any Christian that is trying to grow in the Lord to keep watching these shows now because they aren't helping at all. It's important to to filter what we watch as Christians because we have the Holy Spirit dwelling inside of us and when we watch these shows still he's also watching as well and this grieves him. I was into a lot of shows like a lot of nasty shows, a lot of dark shows, a lot of like you know those shows that are like otherworldly like supernatural I loved shows like that and looking back now I'm just like girl what were you doing because and it's also important to know that aside from these shows not helping Christians to grow, they're also creating doors, like creating doors for the enemy and creating legal grounds for the enemy to keep attacking and destroying people's lives, even though it doesn't look like anything, right? But what you take in, what you consume matters a lot because that is also what is going to come out of you. And you want to make sure that everything that we're doing is glorifying to God what we're watching, what we're listening to, what we're saying, what we spend our time doing. So without further ado, I'm going to go into the list of the shows. I just pray that it leads you to like consider the things that you do watch. Let's get right into it. So the first one on my list here is Sabrina the Teenage Witch. And why I watched the show, I don't know. I really don't know because I remember one of my friends was telling me like she was not comfortable watching the show, but I still carried on. And while I was watching the show, I was like, it's like you know it's wrong but you couldn't stop sort of thing. So it was just about a girl who was a witch, Sabrina, and it was about her life in high school and she went to like like wizard school and like there were just like loads of witchcraft being done in that movie or series it is. And what's worse is in the show like there was a lot of blasphemy like they were doing a lot of stuff like in reverse to what was done in the bible she would do things like her dying and then coming back to life there was even one scene where she had a she had like a um cross thingy like um the crown of thorns on her head there were just so many like like necromancies so many dark stuff that i would not recommend anyone watching at all because just no, why? No, don't watch this show. Right, number two on my list, and this isn't in any particular order from worst to bad, like they're all bad, they're all bad. Number two is <coughs> American Horror Story. <sighs> Where do I begin with this one? I'm, I'm remembering these shows from like off the top of my head because I haven't like, watched them recently or anything at all. It's been a long time, but American Horror Story was so weird. It was so weird and disgusting and I can't even, like, can't even exactly, there isn't like one thing that was wrong with it. There were so many things, that, bad things in that series and it's been going on for years. Like there's a lot of like, <sighs> magic, dead people coming back to life a lot of sexual stuff and like it was like different per season and there was like one recurring character who who came back as a different character in each season and it was just just so weird guys just so weird i would not recommend at all okay so number three on my list vampire diaries slash the originals i know this one is very very popular some of these shows are so popular anyway but i loved vampire diaries i was actually introduced to it by 
okay i'm only saying play by but i loved it so much like i i like to tell you i loved anything vampire werewolf like su supernatural stuff i was there and this show was just like why they, a lot of these shows also just romanticize evil as well and it makes subconsciously like you just begin to side with evil because you're like oh you're like you begin to like root for the bad guys to win over the good guys like it's so weird and like messed up like legit blood sucking stuff like steak steaks and everything and i was obsessed with that show but not anymore and i would not recommend at all so num i don't know what number i'm on but the next on my list is i don't know who sent me i actually don't know who sent me to go watch this one because again it was to do with witchcraft again like i don't know like you all know about the like um this i don't know much about it but like the salem witch is like back in the day sort of thing so this was like a modern remade version for it and of course again they make it look modern and nice and cute and romanticize witchcraft but it is evil there's no such thing as good or witchcraft it is pure evil and we shouldn't watch that stuff we shouldn't look at that stuff we shouldn't mess around with that stuff and for it to be in the show um it, it's not really a good idea for christian to watch because it doesn't glorify god it doesn't please god and it's against everything that god stands for okay next one on my list is you no literally the show is called you um this one was about a guy that was in love with this girl and he sort of like stalked her he stalked her until he got into her life and they started like dating and stuff but then she found out that show was just dark and weird and just creepy and it had a lot of sexual stuff in it that was just nasty and the christian i believe shouldn't be watching that because it doesn't glorify god and most of these shows that have a lot of sexual content in them there's really no point there's really no point because it's like why why it's not edifying your mind it's not edifying your spirit and it just drains it just drains the life out of people without them actually realizing to be honest um because eventually there needs to one thinking about the stuff this like bad stuff that are watching all the time and you begin to for example if, let's say a movie has a lot of swearing words in it and you begin to start swearing as well you're like where did that come from it's what you're feeding your mind or you start thinking about sexual things all the time because that's what you're feeding your mind so that's what's gonna come out and it's not leading to to to, to act it's not and it's not leading to actions that please god as well so the next on my list i liked twilight was <clears throat> i watched that one like like on a marathon i could watch that on a marathon <laughs> and i know some people don't like didn't like twilight even while i was watching it um <clears throat> some people do i watch twilight like mostly every year like i was so in love with that show i don't know why again because there were vampires and there were werewolves and there was just I still ask myself like why but you see the addiction to these shows are actually so real there's something in them there are spirits behind these shows that are keeping people hooked on these shows and <clears throat> the time that they used to spend with god the time that they used to 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 grow in the walk of the lord and instead people use their time watching these shows that don't really have any real benefit in their lives rather it's the opposite it's detrimental to your spiritual life and the next and final one on my list is drum roll please shadow hunters i think this is the final one this is the seventh one um Again, you can see a certain trend here in some of the things that I was watching. This one had a lot of supernatural stuff as well. And there's all, as I said, like, this one had all of them, like, not just there were vampires or werewolves or fairies, there were like warlocks in it. There was all sorts of, of nonsense, really. There was like all sorts of magic, and everything was just in that show, and it was just heavily, heavily romanticized as well. They make evil to look good. They make you want to side with the bad guys. They make you like drawn to the bad guys. And it feels this is like it numbs believers. I feel it, it numbs the more you watch shows, like it, the more it numbs you. The sermon it goes like like it numbs your 
sense it's in a way that you don't really see the bad that's actually bad if that makes sense like it's just it's weird it's weird and these shows just like dump a lot of sub subconscious messages that are so evil that are so dangerous and they're all really not good they're really not good so shadow hunters was basically about the girl and this guy well a lot more than that but this girl who was part of the world she was a shadow hunter and she didn't know who she was but then she began to see creatures and things and and like she eventually got into that world into the school where they were training them to be proper shadow hunters she falls in love with this guy and then they begin training and blah 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 and blah blah, blah and there's all just in summary <laughs> there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of good shows out there that we can watch as christians that do glorify god in god we have freedom okay some christians see oh i'm not able to watch this i'm not able to watch that they see that as bondage but actually the real bondage is being in bondage by these the things of the world and if you want to really serve god and walk with god don't try to fit god in one palm of your hand and try to have the world in another like it's not gonna work so if you really want to be dedicated to god you really have to ask the holy spirit to purge these things out of you these desires the desires to work the things of the world is watching because you, you want to grow you want to have a renewed mind and part of that is making sure that we are watching things that are clean so thank you so much for watching if you got to this point feel free to leave any recommendations and comment below if you agree or if we didn't agree with some things that i said feel free to comment and leave any of the suggestions that could be helpful to other people and i hope that you have a blessed week remember to like comment and subscribe to my videos stay blessed bye